report. I want to bring in Patricia Nyinguru, the principal meteorologist at the Kenya Meteorological Department. And I see Keegan here, Keegan Koech, saying, Trevor Mbidi on live TV tells us that the weather is ice cold, but he won't tell us the remedies. NKT. E2020, I take him a casirico. <laughs> Nobody has the remedies to this, man. <laughs> Let's bring in the experts on this. Patricia, are we experiencing a new season here? Because the weather has been really erratic lately. Well, not exactly. Uh, we see that September is actually the transition month between uh, June to August, which is the cold rainy season, and then uh, October to December, which is the following season. So uh, we have this transition period where we are transitioning from the cold weather, going towards dry weather, and then rainfall thereafter. So currently what is happening is that we have warm air coming in from the western uh, Atl from the west, which is the Atlantic Ocean, and it is bringing rains within the western parts of the country, which is what we are seeing currently. And since this air is warm, it is trying to displace the cold weather, the cold, the cold air that has been prevailing. And because it's dense, then it, this cannot happen abruptly. That's why we are seeing we are having uh, cold um, days as we transition into the warmer season. And how long is this likely to last, Patricia? Since it's a transition, it's very short. So we have we we'll, we are going to have a few more days of cold weather, and then thereafter, as we had issued the September forecast, we expect mainly dry conditions over most parts of the country. Uh, mainly parts of western is uh, water going to continue to receive rainfall, but the rest are expected to continue to be dry and to be relatively warmer. Yeah, the same issue a lot that you issued says that the Met Department said that the October December rains will be a bit depressed. Farmers are wondering what exactly does depressed mean? How bad will it be? So the rainfall is expected to be below normal, especially for the eastern sector of the country. And so the rainfall will be less than what they regularly receive during this season of, of October to December. And the reason for this is mainly we are seeing uh, near average temp uh, sea surface temperatures over the East African coast or the Western Indian Ocean. And the western parts of the country are expected to have near normal rainfall. So it's not a lot of rainfall uh, over the western part. And over the eastern part, we definitely are expecting below average rainfall for the coming season. So what is the impact of below average rainfall? Should the farmers even be thinking of planting in the areas where you've said that the rainfall will be depressed? Uh, most of the eastern parts, they don't usually plant a lot during this coming season. Uh, so we would uh, suggest probably water harvesting because we will have rainfall. Uh, we will have the onset in October. So if the water can be harvested and kept safely for use during the days where we have no rainfall, then they can be able to grow uh, some crops. So we would advocate for short maturing or faster maturing crops and also working with the agricultural ministry to be able to advise them on better crops to plant and how to utilize the little rainfall that we expect for the eastern sector mainly. For the western sector, they're expected to, to have rainfall uh, from September going all the way to October and November being the peak. Again, water harvesting will be very important because uh, we will have uh, periods of dry days within the season. So if they are able to harvest water and use it during the periods where we don't have enough rainfall, then this will be useful for them and it will enable them also to be able to complete their crop growing. However, uh, the underlying advice would be to work with the Ministry of Agriculture to be able to best advise them as they are the experts. Yeah, and Patricia, we've seen some heavy flooding in certain regions like in Baringo. How long is this likely to last? Well, the flooding in Baringo mainly is from the expansion of the lakes, right? And so it's, uh, it's not, uh, the reason is not mainly meteorological, so there are other factors as well. But since uh, we are going into a season where we are not expecting very heavy rainfall, likely, this is likely to uh, subside. But uh, currently the flooding is continuing because we see we had a very heavy season. We, have, we had he heavy rainfall during the March to May season. So that is part of the reason. However, it's not entirely... Uh, meteorological. There are reports of it being also geological. So, yeah. 
And finally, Patricia, from the transition you've seen, you've mentioned that this is a transition period, so it's likely to be very short. But have you seen a difference in the weather pattern and how significant is it over the time that you, if you compare this year to last year, for example? Well, definitely there have been changes in how the weather has been, uh, the regimen of weather throughout the years. And uh, climate change has always been the culprit that we blame when this happens. Uh, and some of the impacts that we see are shorter rainfall seasons. We have delayed rainfall. We have higher temperatures. And so uh, we can attribute some of these things to actually climate change. And so uh, over the years, we see that uh, the seasons are kind of shifting. So we have sh shorter seasons. And when we have heavy rainfall, we have really intense rainfall. And this is expected as we move forward that we have more instances of extreme weather, be it extreme drought as well as extreme rainfall events. All right. Thanks, Patricia. So essentially, we should brace ourselves for both extremes. That's Patricia Nyinguro. The principal meteorologist at the Kenya Meteorological Department. Thank you so much for that update for us. Now we know that the weather is not going to, this particular cold season is not going to last too 